So in this video, we're going to try to make a, an attempt to draw an elliptic cylinder. It's probably going to turn out horrifying, but we'll live with it. So it says sketch the surface, or in this case, the cylinder, represented by x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. We're going to get a cylinder because the z variable is missing, which means once we draw this curve, which we'll draw in the xy plane because it contains the x and the y variables, we'll need to draw lines parallel to that curve, uh, through that curve, sorry, that are parallel to the z-axis. And what we want to recognize is that this is an ellipse, and this 4 can be written as 2 squared, and the 9 here could be written as 3 squared. So if we were working in the xy plane, we would get an ellipse that started at 3, went through negative 2, went down to negative 3, came back to positive 2, and went back to positive 3. And uh, we want to remember that the number that's getting squared, the numbers that are getting squared determine the major and the minor axes on the ellipse. So because the 2, the smaller number is going with the x, that's why we're running from negative 2 to 2 on the x-axis. And because the larger number 3 is with the y variable, we're running from negative 3 to 3 on the y-axis. And then if this, uh, this is centered at the origin, if it weren't centered at the origin, we would just slide it over where it needed to go. And uh, st we still get a cylinder. Uh, but it happens to be we have an ellipse centered at the origin in the xy plane. And so remember, a cylinder is defined to be a plane curve, which I have here. I have a curve, an ellipse, in the xy plane. It's the curve and then the set of all variable, uh, sorry, the set of all lines that are parallel to a given line that contains this curve. But because the z variable is missing, we're going to draw lines that uh, contain the curve that are parallel to the z axis. So here's my x, my y, my z axes. I draw my ellipse, my curve, in the xy plane. So I would come down here to the xy plane. My ellipse would go from negative 3 to 2, from the 2 to the negative 3, from the negative 3 back to this negative 2, and from the negative 2 it would wrap around to the negative 3. So that I have this curve, this ellipse, in the xy plane. And then because the z variable is missing, I need to draw lines that contain the ellipse that are parallel to the z axis. I'm going to try to pick up uh, the key points here. The, those vertices, uh, if you want to call them that, on the ellipse. So drawing a line parallel to the z-axis that picks up the point negative 3 right there. And then drawing the line parallel to the z-axis that picks up the 2. Drawing the line parallel to the z-axis that picks up this positive 3 over here and then drawing the line parallel to the z-axis that's picking up that negative 2. Trying to draw the line parallel to the z-axis that picks up that negative 2. And the curve, what we want to remember, the cylinder that we get is the set of all lines that are parallel to this first line that I drew. So there's infinitely many lines parallel to this line that are perpendicular to the xy plane and hence parallel to the z-axis. And the set of all those lines forms the cylinder. And what I want to recognize is that this ellipse in the xy plane is replicated infinitely many times parallel to the xy plane, parallel to the original ellipse, picking up these parallel lines that I drew. So going from negative 3 to 2 to 3 back to negative 2 and then wrapping around to the negative 3 starting at the negative 3. This is the line through negative 3 wrapping to 2, wrapping all the way around to positive 3, back to negative 2 and then wrapping around to the negative 3 again. And there's going to be infinitely many of these ellipses all parallel to the original ellipse. And the set of all of them combined, or the set of all of these parallel lines combined, form the cylinder. So if we were to graph this in GeoGebra, let's keep this. I pulled GeoGebra open, and I have my, I went into view, and I have my 3D graphics window open right now. So my ellipse in the XY plane was the ellipse x squared over 4. We'll do, we'll do the 1 equals first. One's, 1 over, it's uh, 1 equals, sorry, x 
squared over 4 and then it was plus x squared over 4 plus the y squared over 9 enter so we get an ellipse sorry an elliptical cylinder where that cylinder is parallel to the xy plane parallel to the xy plane and that in the xy xy plane forms an ellipse so as it degenerates into an ellipse as you look straight on at the xy plane and it's it's really the ellipse you could say extruded from the xy plane and parallel to the z axis so GeoGebra does a nicer job of drawing it than do I but in the homework I'm still going to make you draw it by hand because if I have to suffer so do you.